If your heart is broken, you cannot ignore that. You have to recognize that as compelling as the urge is with every trip down memory lane, every text you send, every second you spend stalking your ex on social media, you are just feeding your addiction, deepening your emotional pain and complicating your recovery. Getting off a heartbreak is not a journey. It's a fight. And your reason is your strongest weapon. There is no breakup explanation that's going to feel satisfying. No rationale can take away the pain you feel. So don't search for one. Don't wait for one. Just accept the one you were offered or make up one yourself and then put the question to rest because you need that closure to resist the addiction. And you need something else as well. You have to be willing to let go, to accept that it's over. Otherwise, your mind will feed on your hope and set you back. Hope can be incredibly destructive when your heart is broken. Heartbreak is a master manipulator. The ease with which it gets our mind to do the absolute opposite of what we need in order to recover is remarkable. One of the most common tendencies we have when our heart is broken is to idealize the person who broke it. We spend hours remembering their smile, how great they made us feel, that time we hiked up the mountain and made love under the stars. All that does is make our loss feel more painful. We know that. Yet we still allow our mind to cycle through one greatest hit after another, like we were being held hostage by our own passive-aggressive Spotify playlist. Heartbreak will make those thoughts pop into your mind, and so to avoid idealizing, you have to balance them out by remembering their frown not just their smile, how bad they made you feel. When you find that you cannot let go of a relationship, in fact, it's not the relationship at all. It's the need within yourself that you believe the other person fills. That's what keeps you stuck. You see, whenever we attach our healing needs to another person, that person's absence will intensify the need. Now this does not mean you didn't love the other person, nor does it mean that the relationship was not meaningful, fulfilling, and productive. It simply means that there's a part of you, an aspect of your identity or consciousness that does not believe you have the capacity to give yourself all that you need and desire. Instead, that aspect of yourself is seeking and expecting to find someone else. Someone you think can only give you what you can give yourself. We are talking here about love, satisfaction, peace, joy, fun. Whatever you believe you receive from the other person, you have it all within yourself. And your soul is urging you to find it, pull it up, Acknowledge, accept, and appreciate it. There's still hope. I'm not here today to tell you that I understand your pain. I don't know how it feels to be abused. I don't know how it feels to feel, quote, fat and you've got an eating disorder. I don't know how it feels to have a broken home. try something else it doesn't work you try something else it doesn't work you try something else it doesn't work you don't settle you don't give up and you don't give in if you hit a wall you go around it you go over it you go under it whatever it takes you do it
I was not more talented or smarter. I didn't get better grades than other people. He said, but I was willing to work harder than anyone else. I was willing to work harder than anyone else. I was willing to work harder, start earlier, work harder, stay later than anyone else. Always go to something bigger than yourself. I'm wondering if you've been defeated because you have been giving yourself wholly to something that was too small to hold you. Have you thrust yourself into a glass of water? Have you leaped off the diving board into a cereal bowl person? Are you not guilty of immersing yourself into things that were too small to hold your vision. My problem is so many times you've thrown big ideas at small people. You've given big commitment to cereal bowl people and you're trying to get your sight back from a source that's too small to support what you're willing to put in. Is your investment bigger than the bank? <laughs> you should see the way you're looking at me. Is, your, is the reason you keep being disappointed by people is that you have wholly thrown yourself into something that was too small. Sometimes I use, I, I use the muse of LeBron James. LeBron, and he motivates me every day. I see him, he's... He's up at six in the morning, he's playing his music, he's loving what he's doing, he's conscious, he's, he's working out at six in the morning. He don't have to really work out at six in the morning, he's working out at six in the morning harder than everybody else. That's one of the keys. That's why you'll say I, I'm number one a lot. This is a fact. I want it more than almost everybody in here. I, I want him. I want him more than almost everybody in here. That's what I'm talking about. You got to stand up for yourself and be able to compete. That's right. And you got to put the work that it's going to take to do it.